Welcome to the Ask Jack Show. A little bit different video today. Instead of being in the studio, we're in the great outdoors. So we got a BMC bike that we're testing out. We got it from Papa Wheelies and BMC. Thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate it. And uh, just kind of brought up a question that I see a lot on the channel about the shots that we get, the bike shots. So I wanted to explain really quick how we do it. So there's a few ways we get shots. One of the ways we get shots is with inline skates. So we have a cameraman who's got a camera, he's on inline skates, he's rolling with the subject. We use FPV drones, we use like Mavic Air drones, and then we use the chase bike setup. So this is an e-bike that has a dongle on it, so it goes about 40 miles an hour. And we built a platform in the back that is uh, sprung. We have a fourth axis to the gimbal. And then we have the DJI Ronin gimbal, and the gimbal movement is being controlled by an iPhone. <laughs> so you set the subject tracking on an iPhone, and then that independently from the operator moves the gimbal to follow the subject, which is typically the cyclist. And then for the camera, we're using a GoPro. And what you do with the GoPro is you turn off all the hyper smooth, any steady cam in the camera. And then in post, you use a program called Real Steady Go. And that's the best way to get the highest quality and the smoothest picture. And this system is an evolution from where we started. What we started with was a DJI Osmo. And that was pretty good, but it didn't have active tracking. So we would be having a really good shot and then all of a sudden the camera or the, uh, the subject moved out of camera or the camera gimbal stopped working and uh, it would cut our shots short. So we figured out the best way to do it is to have the iPhone controlling the gimbal to keep the GoPro camera fixed on the subject. And then of course the whole thing is on a gimbal for smoothness and on a fourth axis to take out any road jarring or any big bumps in the road. So this system works really good and uh, we're kind of psyched to have a system where we don't have to have a car. Because if you're using a car as your platform, it's really dangerous <laughs> because the car is taking up a whole lane. The driver of the car and the cyclist are not in sync at all. So if for some reason the driver of the car has to put the brakes on, <laughs> that goes the cyclist into the back of the car. So. It's much better to have a system where it's just two guys on bikes that can kind of talk to each other while you're filming. So right now I'm using the joystick to move the gimbal back and forth, but the iPhone through an app actually controls it wirelessly and it's a, a pretty good system. So instead of having to have someone back here operating it, the AI and the iPhone is doing it for you. So that's it, a little bit different Ask Jack show. Thanks for tuning in, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching.